there's a lot of new faces in here. I love that. That's great. I don't come for a couple of weeks, the whole room changes over. Uh, so uh, for the people who have seen me present here or other places before, we're going to have a fast recap. For everyone who hasn't seen it, you're going to get the lightning round version. I'm sorry. We'll play another time that you can catch up on the, the laughs and the fun. You're great. So hi, I'm Greg Fisher with Pinnacle Mortgage. We are a New Hampshire-based company, but I am a Leland-based person now. Uh, we started the presentation with the obligatory about me. So here is family. Uh, we, throw, <laughs> we throw in some visual gags because they're fun. Uh, I used to live here. I now live here. There we go. More visual gags. Uh, but the sum of it is what I do for a living and how I do it. When people say, Greg, what do you do? I say, I'm a mortgage broker. They go, oh, like they know. You don't. You can't know. You can't know. Just like for all of you. you say, hey, I do roofing. I go, great, you, yeah, I can't know. I can't know. Uh, so we throw in a few more visual gags. This is how the world sees what I do for a living. Uh, what I really do is quite simple. I take the person who needs the money to buy the house and match them up with the lender who has the money to buy a house. Uh, I spend a lot of my day solving problems. So much of what we do is solving the problems. We looked at ducks. We looked at ducks a lot on the top of the pond, it's nice and smooth, that's the transaction, because people like me down beneath are paddling like mad to make it happen. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we use the pond analogy. All the things that can go wrong in a loan transaction, more ducks, they just keep coming. Uh, income problems, appraisal problems, title problems, legal problems, all the things we have to deal with in a day to make sure that we have that smooth transaction, that I am hammering the problems flat, sometimes multiple times to get to closing. Uh, all these problems come up. More ducks. For a very, very simple, you see this is how the mortgage process works. We talked about the difference between brokers and lenders. I am a mortgage broker. Every mortgage lender, forget bank. This is just the graph. Mortgage lender, people who provide the money, uh, they all have a set of rules. They have a set of programs. They have a set of how they do business. No lender can do everything. And no lender can do everything equally well. That includes me. So I don't work with one lender, I work with several lenders. In fact, I work with 49 at last count different lenders and all their products and all their programs to make sure that if plan A falls through, I've got plan B ready to go. And plan C is at least in rough draft form. Because the ultimate goal is we've got to get that clear to close. That's how we get to the end of the transaction after we've hammered all the problems flat, after we look at, dear God, more ducks on the screen, Greg, <laughs> is how we end up with happy customers at the end of the day. I am Greg Fisher of Pinnacle Mortgage. That is what I help people find a house they love and a payment they can afford with a minimal amount of fuss. That is what I do and how I do it. Now the presentation. That was just a recap of what you missed before. For those, of you, for those of you who have seen it before and will see it again, Amber, I'm sorry, you're going to get buried in this message. Here's my message to you. That is what I am and how I do it. But why? If you've been in this group with me for any length of time, you've heard me ask why. Why are we here? What are we doing here? Why do you do what you do? Why is that better than your competition? This is Simon Sinek's book. I don't spend a lot of time hawking books, but the message here I thought was genius. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. We all, we just went around the room, we all talked about who we are, what we did, sometimes how we did it. None of us talk about why. Why not? In the circle of how things get done, we all start with what and we go to how. We almost never get to why. If you start with why, the very beginning. You're doing what you're doing, not how you do for a living and how, but why. Turn your message inside out. So instead of saying, hi, I'm Greg Fisher. I help people finance houses. I've got 49 different lenders. They're all great. Low, rates are low. Service is good. Could I be your lender? You say, sure. But if we start with why, 20 years ago, <laughs> I bought my first house. I called some guy in Texas at the place I did my banking then. I never met him, I never will. Uh, he was perfectly nice, I have no idea what his name was. Uh, I said, I need to buy a house. He said, great, Greg, what do you need? He said, I want a 30 year fixed rate because they're the best, right? He said, sure. And he gave me exactly the loan I asked for, precisely the loan I asked for. Two years later, I end up in this business and about an hour in, I'm shaking my head going, I asked for everything wrong. He gave me just what I wanted, but I wanted the wrong thing because I didn't know. 
I'm on a 19 year now quest to make sure the people who are working with me know why they're making the choices they are. Know that there are other choices. Yes, I've got lots of options, great rates, great service, all of that. But what matters is why? How can I protect you from the mistakes I made that my guy never asked? It is important to know why. I do this now because I want to make sure that the people who are working with me are being guided because they don't know everything about this. Nobody does. So they can make confident, informed decisions about what's right for their plan right now and in the future. I start with why. I ask you, turn your message inside out. Don't tell me who you are or what you do and how you do it. First, tell me why you do. Tell me why what you do is better. Tell me why what you do is different. And then how you do it. And then why you're doing it. Is that my email mark? No. Good. <laughs> Good, because I was going to have to lightning around the last couple of minutes of message for you. Uh, these are some slides from the personal branding class that I put on. My next one will be coming up in March. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, I do these courses primarily for real estate agents. They all say video marketing for real estate. Google business pages for realtors. Uh, the message works for any of us. My ask earlier today was, when you go out in the world, I don't want that person you know who needs a mortgage. I do, but that, that's not what I'm looking for today. What I'm looking for today is for you to go out into the world and meet other professionals and say, hey, have you met Greg Fisher? Because he's doing some things I think you should know about. And I want you to know about them too. So personal branding. To what problem are you the solution? How do you fix the problems? People need to buy a house and don't have all the money they need. They need money. They can get that from anybody. They can call a rocket. They've got money. How do I solve problems? How do you solve problems? So you need to know what problems your customers have. Here's a list, real estate focused. I bet you could apply any of these to your business. These are the problems my customers will have. How do you help solve them? How are you getting them over that fear, uncertainty, doubt? How are you getting them over that I'm going to dial an 800 number and hope the guy on the other end asks the right questions? I got it. Did his job great. He didn't ask me questions. Because the solution for your marketing, how you find your next customer, is how you solve their problem. It's not about you. It's about their problem. For instance, here's a brand positioning statement. Acme Realty specializes in helping first-time home buyers feel confident about finding their perfect starter home, and they have the local expertise to help guide. Yes, they are local experts, they have all the tools, they have all the knowledge, they've got 10 years of experience, they sold $20 million, but they don't care how much you sold. How are you solving their problem? You're providing the confidence, you're providing the local expertise, you're providing the guidance. <laughs> Let's talk branding. This is Larry Wingett. Here's some of the books he's wrote. My favorite is Your Kids Are Your Own Fault. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, uh, people are idiots and I can prove it. This guy's got brand. He's got brand for days. Do you like him? Don't know. Do you think he cares? He does not. He does not. But the people who follow him, or the Dave Ramseys of the world, or a lot of other big names, people we've all heard of, who have a cult following, you think they also have people who don't love it? They do. Do they care? You can't be everything for everybody. Find who you can help whose problems you can solve, how you can solve them. Tell them why you're doing it and how, and oh, by the way, I do this thing. We talk in the class about brand archetypes. There's a few different quizzes you could take online. They're quick and easy. I'm an, I'm an explorer, <coughs> for what it's worth. Uh, it's interesting, it gives you the result. It says, here's some colors to use, some typefaces to look at, some messaging to s sort of circle around. Uh, just contact. Things to think about when you're building that Facebook post or the video feed or the whatever your marketing is. The essence of branding is doing or saying what your com competition does not do or say. If you know someone out in the world who does the same essential job you do for a living, why are you better? Why? Why is your solution better than theirs? I'm Greg Fisher of Pinnacle Mortgage. My goal, my why is to guide people to guide people so they can make the confident, informed decision, the right one for them for right now and then in the future. <coughs> I help them find a house they can, they love, a payment they can afford with a minimal amount of fuss. That's why I do what I do for a living. And I do. 
Some of the other classes we talk about, we talk about Google, we talk about YouTube. In the past week, I've helped someone set up their YouTube channel. I helped someone get their <coughs> business profile running. They were both amazed at how easy it could be, but it's a terrifying thing to start. If you need help starting, I am not the expert at YouTube, but if you need help starting, ask me. When you go out in the world and say, hey, have you met Greg? He's helping people do this. Introduce me. Upcoming classes, this link, gregf.link slash next, will always get you to what's coming up next. I've got video marketing and uh, GPT AI coming up next month. Personal branding class, the full version of what we just saw many, many of, will be scheduled in March. The ask I did earlier, go forth. Talk to people, do what you do every day. Hey, have you met Greg at Pinnacle Mortgage? He's helping people do this stuff. And oh yeah, he's a pretty decent mortgage guy too. You need to connect with me? Regaf.link slash card is where you download my phone, my email, my everything else. I've got real paper cards. Please ask. Happy to hand one out. Got okay, anything else we'd like to talk about today? Let's. Otherwise, I know I didn't pick up the gift certificate today. <laughs> Drove right by. Aww. So the winner of today's drawing, uh, I will owe you a gift certificate too. Ball head coffee. Let's get, get a card. And I'll make sure I get that to you. I thank you all very much. Let's talk.